Hello everyone! There are high-performance video cards designed for heavy use on computers. Most of these cards are large and unable to fit in computers with smaller cases. There is another type of video card commonly referred to as low-profile video cards, which are usually smaller than high-performance cards. Most are also quieter and have lower power requirements and heat emission than high-performance options. There are a number of options on the market which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compiled a list of the top 5 best low-profile video cards on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you would like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we have Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030. Despite its small size, it offers a significant improvement in performance for small factor PCs and budget gaming computers. It also supports DirectX 12, which helps improve graphics for regular PC games. Its pros are The core clock, Megahertz is 1506 in OC mode. It has a low profile design with 150 mm card length. It allows you to play games such as WOW or LOL and can play mainstream games on a budget. Bottom line is, it has a 150mm card length. It comes with 2GB GDDR5 64-bit memory. And it has Aorus graphics engine. Next we have VisionTech Radeon HD5450. The simple structure and specs of the HD5450 mean you can do only basic activities with this card, so this definitely excludes serious gaming or video editing. However, the HD5450 is a welcome addition to older PCs, where it helps run advanced applications that refuse to work with older versions of integrated graphics on new operating systems. Its pros are, it fully supports Microsoft DirectX 11. It has Dolby True HD. And DTS HD Master Audio Support is content protected, high bandwidth. Bottom line is, it's a VisionTech Radeon 5450 series GPU. It has 7.1 channel surround sound. And it comes with dual monitor support. Next we have Sapphire Radeon HD 6450. It is a low-profile PCI Express graphics card with 1 GB of GDDR3 RAM that promises a silent gaming environment with regular PCs. The HD6450 is an excellent replacement for most onboard graphics cards. Its pros are, it runs quietly, it consumes less power, thus making it one of the best low-profile video cards in the market. Bottom line is, it supports through Microsoft DirectX 11. It has AMD iFinity display technology, and it comes with AMD app acceleration. Next we have EVGA GeForce 8400 GS DirectX. It's a classic device that sets the standard for modern high-performance video cards. It has eight processors, a 520 megahertz GPU, and a PCI Express interface. Its pros are, the EVGA 8400GS has awesome features at an incredible value. And EVGA's 24-7 technical support. For basic usage, this is a good card for the money. However, there is no support for Windows 8. Bottom line is, it has a 520 megahertz base clock. It comes with CUDA cores built in. And it has a 1024 megabyte DDR3 memory detail. Finally, we have MSI AMD Radeon R7 240. This low profile card from MSI boasts 2 GB of GDDR3 RAM and one HDMI port to enable dual outputs to two different displays via HDMI. In addition to the HDMI port, you can use DVI-D as an additional output option, which makes this card one of the best low-profile cards you can get. Its pros are, 
When it comes to gaming, this will easily perform better than any other graphics card under $50. It delivers high performance and visual realism. The solid capacitors ensure maximum stability and extra long lifespan. And we recommend this card mostly for people who are just looking to play older MMOs in medium settings. Bottom line is, it has AMD Radeon R7 240 chipset. It comes with 2GB GDDR3 video memory. And it has a 64-bit memory interface. There you have it, our top 5 best low-profile video cards on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please click on the like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.